Hello everybody, this is Chromesgrow018, and uh, just so you guys know, this might be the, I might get it done tomorrow, but this might be the last day, possibly tomorrow, I don't know, that I'm in this room, because I'm always complaining about the internet not working in the living room, so I'm sick and tired of the whole inter internet situation, so I'm just going to move back into my old room and have the internet work for everybody. So, yeah, just so you guys know. And for those of you who didn't get a really good look at the picture, the ring, uh, it's probably about the best picture you're going to get of the ring. The, uh, look at the ring anyway. Because I don't think, I had the, it wasn't very good at focusing. So, anyway, this is going to be my thoughts on episode 54 of Dragon Ball. I should have gotten this out earlier, but I just didn't feel like it, putting it out pulling up the editing software and editing it. Hopefully, once my sister takes the boys, when she gets here, I don't know when that'll be, but when she does, I'll take a shower, try and get some videos done, and wait for my boyfriend to come and get me, because we're going to be working on something for game night tomorrow. Today. Game night's tomorrow. We're working on it today. And just so you know, I'm still drinking tea. I put too sweet and low in it, which is a lot better than sugar, in my opinion. That's what I've been doing essentially for almost a week. I'll try and take a check my weight tonight or tomorrow. Anyway, as for the Dragon Ball episode, uh, it didn't take too much for them to escape the cave itself, but then they had to. They had to find a way to get back to Roshi's Island. Sorry, I just got done eating lunch. So if you see anything in my teeth, I'm sorry. I ate the other half of my sandwich that I had ordered yesterday. A turkey club on wheat bread with lettuce, onion, pickle, bacon, mayo, and mustard. If it had spinach, I would have added that too. Anyway, uh, I felt bad for the poor guy who was working at the, uh, the head, General Blue's headquarters at that point. I felt bad for any of his workers because they risk getting executed for the smallest thing. Like, the guy had been sleep, falling asleep on his job. I don't know how often he did that, but he was sleeping at the time, and he got executed for it. Now, I can understand getting fired, getting executed that's a little over the top that's a little that's going overboard anyway yeah uh, Goku finally talks to General Commander Red I think it I actually just noticed something the other day I realized something the other day the only one you can actually see the lips of in this so far is Commander Red's assistant, Blackie, the tall guy, the, black, the tall black guy, you can see his lips. But you can't see anybody else's, really. You can see the outline of their mouth, but they don't have lips, you know? It's weird. Only the African-American character has lips, which I don't know what to think about that. I don't know if that's supposed to be racist, or if that's just so that way you can see their mouth better, because, you know, the dark skin color makes the outline of their mouth a little harder to see. It makes sense if that's actually the case. It props to Whoever made Dragon Ball at the time, if that's actually the reasoning. Anyway, uh, yeah, Goku ends up talking to the person, but thinks he's talking to the machine, and he breaks the machine. <laughs> of course he does. Anyway, after they leave in the helicopters, poor Goku, or poor, the poor, uh, person that was in the headquarters is caught by General Blue and, well, executed. And apparently, Bulma had uh, stashed a diamond in her bottom part of her swimsuit while they were down in the cave. A big diamond. And she gave it to Krillin because she didn't need it. And Krillin obviously realized it was in her underwear. <laughs> which gets him a perverted hit, in the perverted hit from Bulma because of that. And they were going to give it to Roshi as... An apology for breaking the sub, which I assume is broken. 
so he can buy, you know, a new one. Sadly, Crazy Launch shows up and takes the diamond and leaves with it. If that's the last time we actually see Launch, what a way to go. Leaving with a gigantic diamond in her possession. And then the episode ends with Blue showing up with a rope. I assume he's planning on taking da- taking Roshi captive. Because he probably thinks that Launch was the one who, you know, defeated all his men. Because he probably obviously still thinks that Roshi's a scientist and not able to fight. Oh, is he going to be in trouble? <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, I enjoyed this episode. I hope to get some more done today. I'll try and get more Naruto done and Fairy Tale done today, because I hadn't worked on it in a while. Actually, I need to work on all of them, but that'll that'll be a different time. Because once I get once my fiance gets here, we're gonna be going to his house to work on the game night stuff, and more than likely I'm not gonna be back until late, so I'm not gonna be able to get any other videos done today once that happens. Anyway, um, that's all I had to say on the actual episode, and I have been trying to move my stuff back into my old room. I only did my clothes so far, if you can tell. Yeah, there's hardly anything in that closet. The only thing that's in there is stuff that was in my old closet that, you know, like old coats that we use for the winter or whatever, I moved all that into that closet and put all my stuff back in my old closet. That way that stuff is there. I'm going to try and move it gradually. That way, I, once the bigger stuff has to be moved, like the beds, the, the bed, my bed, the crib, this desk, and the bookcase and the... Actually, everything, just about everything in here is big. Only thing that's not is the computer stuff, which, if I can get a crate, I could have that stuff moved into my old room and have my computer stuff in there, but... If I did that, I wouldn't have any internet because I'd have to keep the router in here until my dad could reroute my brother's cords back into back through the way they were before. Because my brother pulled them out, and I don't know if he'd be able to get them back through. So that would have to wait until later. Because I could hear him on this game, and if I tried to do it now, it would knock him off his game. Literally, it would, because his game is based on the internet. Anyway, enough enough babbling. I'll try and get it all done tomorrow or Sunday. My bed will probably be the last thing that we move in there. Because I'm going to try and get... I'm not sure where we're going to put the chair. The crib might have to go in front of the window box. Though... Maybe on the... In front of the, of the closet... I don't know. Or maybe move the crib near the near the other closet and then put the chair beside it. That would be the only thing I could think of. Anyway, enough of my babbling. Uh, that's my thoughts on Dragon Ball Episode 54, and I will see you all next time.